depraved the promulgation of our constitution that was given on 26th of January 1950. Today, I have been saying you, not only today, but long ago, and these days, we have been practicing standing and walking together. And today, from 7 a.m. onwards, we have been standing here. I see teachers have been standing here. I see our principals, our sisters, and all other staff, even the tiny kids, all of you are standing together. And today, for me, the simplest and the most edifying definition and meaning of Republic is to stand together. We need to stand together. We need to stand for each other. We need to stand for our nation called India. Standing together is Republic. Today, our country demands that all of us need to stand together, need to build up a great and better India, need to build up future of our country, and we need to promote justice, equality, fraternity, brotherhood, peace, and harmony among all. We need to stand against all differences of communalism, of hatred, the politics of hate. We need to stand against all that divides our country. We need to stand against all injustice and disharmony. And we need to stand together, stronger, and as a strong nation, and to build up a strong India. Today, sometimes it demands also to stand together is a challenge. We need to face all the odds to stand together, united and stronger. Today, I saw you all standing, marching ahead, saluting the national flag, the tricolor, rising high and flying high in the sky. And if, my dear students, if you want to see our nation flying high in the world, we need to march ahead. We need to walk together. We need to stand together as one nation, as one people. In spite of all our differences, all are the differences that we live in, but we have to live aside all together. We need to stand together, and that is the meaning and definition of Republic according to me. Today, you withstood all the heat, the dust, and even the chill morning, and you stood together for marching ahead. And that is my advice for today, that we need to stand against all odds that divides our nation, that take us, our nation, to the backward. We need to stand together, march ahead, take our nation to the world, so that not only we salute our tricolor, but all the nations of the world salute our Tiranga, our tricolor, and we become the better republic, the number one nation, the number one republic in the world. I am reminded, the, reminded of the words of Guruji Rabindranath Tagore, even if nobody hears your call, walk along, walk along, my friend, walk along. Jodi Kesne Kordar Tobe Ekla Chalo, Ekla Chalo, Ekla Chalo Re. We need to sometimes walk along against all odds, against the injustice, the atrocities against women and children. We need to stand against the crimes and corruption of our country. We need to stand against all that is harming our country, all that is dividing, and we need to march ahead, my friend. We need to march ahead. Once again, let me conclude with the words of Guruji, the Nobel laureate, Rabindranath Tagore, who says, where the head is held high, and where the knowledge is free, where there is no fear to the nation of freedom, the O Father, let my country away. Let our country away to that and become that nation where knowledge is free, where head is held high, and where knowledge is free and become a greater and greater and number one republic in the world. Today, we must learn to breathe India. We must learn to breathe India and we must learn to live India, and that is the spirit of the Republic. It is not you, it is not I, but it is we who make the Republic of India. As our constitution suggests, we the people of India. My dear students, my dear teachers, our dignitaries, let us pledge today that we all make, we all people make this great nation this great republic as the number one republic of the world. 
May God bless each one of us. Thank you all of you. Thank you our principal father. Thank you vice principal for all of you for giving me this privilege. Though it was to the head of the institution, the principal, but he has given me this honor privilege. Once again, I thank you for withstanding everything and marching ahead, saluting our national flag. We need once again and always to stand together and take our country ahead. Thank you, Jai Hind, and God bless. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Please. 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 Please.